Hey everybody, it's the old sports editor Ronnie Gallagher and we're here for another season of the Sundrop Roman the County football show. Today is the first official day of football practice and all the teams are practicing it today. Uh, in fact, East Rowan started early. They had midnight madness. We didn't make it, but we will be going over to East Rowan and talking to D Danny Meisenheimer later and he can tell us how midnight madness went. All I know is that it was dark and they had a good time, but Mark Woody decided to have his practice at Carson at 8 a.m. He's the second practice of the day, and we're going to go out here and talk to Mark Woody. We're going to watch the kids practice, and we're going to talk about how good the Cougars are going to do. They're going to bounce back from that four-win season this year. So let's go out and find Mark Woody, the first coach of the day. Hey, we're here with the Mark Woody, the, the, the coach at, at Carson. You know, you're starting your seventh year here. Uh, yeah, how, how, do, how has things changed since that first year? <laughs> Well, we're able to get on the field and off the field without, you know, tripping around a little bit and uh, kids know where to go and, and a lot more smooth and, and that's a, a good thing. So uh, we're able to keep the kids going a little bit faster and tempo changes. Now, how many how many assistant coaches you got this year? Um, we have six assistants, uh, um, uh, assistants and seven counting me. Uh, I notice you always like to work with those offensive linemen. They, <laughs> they never get enough publicity, uh, but, but, but they're a good group, aren't they? They are. They are. They, uh, I'm excited about this bunch we have. We lost a couple of good ones last year, but, uh, but um, uh, you yeah, know, you're right. They don't get a lot of uh, attention, but if they don't play well and things don't go well up front, then things don't go good for the Cougars. Yeah, that, everybody's talking about your skill people back. Yeah. Uh, Austin McNeil at quarterback, yeah. K.J. Presley, a wide receiver, Brandon Sloop at, at running back. Everybody's expecting you to score about 50 points a game. <laughs> Wow, is that what it is? <laughs> um, uh, uh, that would be nice, uh, you know. And, and again, everybody's good right now. You know, we talk, we say that that you know, in August, first of August, everyone's good and uh, no one's got a loss, and and we look good and do some th uh, things well on paper, but we got to execute, and, yeah. and that's what it comes down to. And they know that. Sure. Yeah. Okay, Mark Woody was in the morning. We've made our way over to Spencer, North Carolina for North Rowan's first practice and the first practice of Joe Nixon, the head coach. He came over from West Rowan last year as an assistant. He was over there for eight years. He was Scott Young's right-hand man. Now he's his own man here wearing the green. We're going to go find Joe Nixon and find out what he has on tap for today and for the rest of the season. So let's go find Big Joe. With Joe Nixon, Joe, this is the start of something new. You're the head man now. How's it feel? I feel good. We're excited, you know. No, no matter where you're at, you're excited to, to to when you start the football season, and it's a good day, you know. Uh, it brings brings a lot of excitement around. Yeah, you know, th this is the most players that, that I've seen out here in the first practice in a long time. Yeah, I think we got 67 out today, so that, that's a really good number. Uh, we got to get some more helmets in here, I believe. That's right. You know, I noticed that you had a Roger Seacrest out here. Just having him out here, having a legend out here, means something. Yeah, Coach Seacrest, you know, uh, I've talked to him several times since I've gotten the job. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he just wants to come out and see what we're doing and, and help me when, it, when I can. You know, I'm always open for, for anybody that can help me. Sure. Now, the, what is the first day, official day of practice? What's it all about? Uh, you know, excitement. Uh, you know, getting the guys out and get them excited about football, and mm -hmm. and you know, at the same time, you know, it's nervous. You know, we don't have a long time before we before we strap it on and play a game against a very good Carson team. Yeah. Are you nervous in any way? Not about practice. I'm nervous about that first game already. <laughs> yeah, you are. Well, well, we'll be with you all the way, Joe. Thanks. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. All right. Okay, we made our way over to Salisbury High School, North Orleans neighbor. You know, over at North, we were talking to Big Joe. Nixon. Over here we're going to talk to Big Joe Pinion. He has led the Hornets deep in the playoffs year after year after year. They had another great season last year and we're going to go out here and find him and he's going to talk about the, his predictions for this year. He's going to talk about some of the players. So let's go find Joe. Joe Pinion, Joe, I, I just called you Big Joe Pinion because we just got through with Big Joe Nixon. I mean, you know, you're Big Joe Pinion because you have got a resume that is, is, is pretty awesome here at Salisbury. Well, that's getting ready to say, I hope you weren't talking about my size. I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight. No, <laughs> seriously, we, 
we've we've been very fortunate to have great athletes, and and it's a it's a great program because we've got great supporters, we've got great administration. It's not hard to win when you got all those ingredients, and you know I hope if if that's what makes you big, I hope I continue being big for a little while. Well, how many guys showed up? It looks like a good number out here. We're at about 75 or 80, I think, and we've got about 20 that we know that they're not going to be here the first day. Some of them on some church trips and things like that. That you know they're going to not be eligible for a first scrimmage, but to be eligible after that. And then we've got four or five to ten that we're going to have to look for to see if they are coming out. You know, but people are talking about your backfield, your offensive backfield. How many guys you got back, Max and and Ruffin and Balk? I mean, that's a good start. Well, we think about moving all those guys to the offensive line because we've never had a real good offensive line. No, just uh, we've had some good offensive linemen. I just think we got we got a very talented offensive yeah. group. Uh, the jury's still out on our defense, and you know we, we're putting a lot of emphasis on that right now. And you know those guys in our backfield are going to have to carry the weight a little while for us to get let our defense mature. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you got beaten out in the playoffs last year by Thomasville. Uh, what was the mindset? Did you think, all right, we're going to come back this year, we got a lot of talent back? I mean, what were you thinking? Well, I, th- I think the bad thing is at Salisbury, when we got here, we always wanted to make the playoffs. Yeah. And then as, as it's gone on, Ronnie, it's been one of those things where we want to get better and we want to win state championships. And, and now it's last year when it's over with, everybody's like, okay, that's not acceptable for us. And it's not acceptable to the people in our community. They want us to do better. So, you know, our goals are now a little bit higher and we set the bar a little higher and, you know, that's, that's our fault, but we'll have to live with it. Yeah, so expect some success from the Salisbury Hornets. Joe, thanks. Thanks, Ronnie. Okay, we made our way down through the country, weaved by the cornfields and the cows, and now we're out here to Wester Oan, a place that has been to a lot of football championships. Four straight 3A state championship games they've been to. The Falcons won the first three they lost last year, and everybody just knows this is the year they're going down. Of course, they say that every year. We're going to go out here and talk to Scott Young, and he's going to tell us how he feels about his prospects this year and how many guys showed up for the first official day of practice. So let's go out and see the great Scott Young. Okay, we're here with Scott Young during the first day of practice. Scott, how many guys you got out here? We have uh, 92 out here today, and we know where a couple are that are missing, and uh, I I still believe we have some freshmen that are not here that we've got to find their way out here, Mm -hmm. but uh, really pleased. I can't remember a first day with the beautiful weather we're having right here. I mean, it's it's nice, and the breeze is blowing. Mm -hmm. uh, our guys are not even sweating, it does, it seem like. You know, we were talking the other day about how every year they say, okay, this is the year that West Joanne goes down, and you've been to four straight state championship games. You know, how do you do it? Well, you know, we heard all that talk a couple years back. Well, where did they lose KP? Where did they lose KP? Well, we, we lost KP, and, and we're very fortunate to make a run at another state title. And then, then you know, where do you, where do you lose BJ? Where do you lose BJ? The West Rowan's done. I heard that on countless occasions. West yeah. Rowan's done. And, uh, we, we, we found ourselves at Chapel Hill, although we fell a game short. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, it, it's always – this is different out here. Mm-hmm. I mean, we got new faces on the staff. we got new faces, faces as far as players. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, it, it, we're having a blast right now. It's fun. You know, the, you had to come up with a new quarterback, and, and you got Tyler Stamp out there who has always been a receiver. Uh, how do you teach a new quarterback? Oh, well, well first of all, the kid's got a lot of God-given ability. And, and so uh, he's, a, he's a natural when it comes to it. He doesn't have a natural throwing motion yet, but that is something that we're working on, and mechanically it's getting better day by day. But he is a gifted athlete. He knows our offense. Um, I, I'm real pleased with his progress over the last month. And one more guy. We, we did the cover shoot for the football edition day, and Logan Stooley was on there for the second straight year. You want to talk about him, your linebacker? Yeah, I mean, he should be our senior leader, no doubt. Uh, we've got other senior leaders out there. Carol Cuthbertson should be a guy that we ought to be able to count on. Uh, three out of the four in the back secondary are back. Mm-hmm. Two of those guys are seniors, so they ought to be, you know, pretty solid for mm-hmm. us. Um, you, you know, up front, we should be strong again. Yeah. Well, Scott, good luck to you, and we'll be with you all the way. Thank you all. All right. Scott Young. Okay, we made it all the way down from one end of the county to the other. We're at South Rowan. Jason Rollins is the head coach. You know, they only won one game last year. They are sure to improve on that record. They've got a really strong senior class led by Nathan Lambert. And we're going to go out here and talk to Jason Rollins. He's one of my favorite coaches. His head looks about like mine. So we, we always get along good with that. And we're going to go over there and find him right now and talk about some South Rowan football.
Well, we've hooked up with Jason Rollins, the coach at South Row End. You know, what'd you do on the first day of practice, and how many people showed up? Well, we actually, you know, we meet with them. It takes a good hour for some of these kids who hadn't been here during the men's summer uh, to, you know, get their stuff together. And a lot of it's freshmen, young sure. kids. But, um, you know, we, we talked to them, go over some rules and some things, the guidelines that we, we expect, our expectations for them. And then we hit the field. And, um, you know, we had about 85 is what we had the first night. And we've actually picked up uh, several uh you know, as as we're going along, so it's 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 going well. Yeah, you know, I, I saw you over there. It looked like you was with a lot of the young kids trying to trying to get that offense going in defense. It, it, it's kind of tough trying to teach those kids that. It is. I mean, you know, they they come in and and you know a lot of times they may still do things a little different. You know, when the middle school and and so when they get up here, you know, the world changes for them. And yeah, you know, but they were the young kids. But you've also got a senior class that you've been waiting for for a long time. Nathan Lambert and Josh Mellon and those guys. You want to talk about that senior class? Yeah, I mean, you know, of course, Nathan, you know, I can't say enough about him. I mean, he's just a great kid who's, you know, broke school records and done some great things for us. And he's a he's committed to to, to working and helping this program get better. And uh, he's worked all through the offseason. You know, Clint Meese, who is probably one of our strongest offensive linemen, got great feet and has, uh, you know, I know Nathan – Feels good when knowing that he's in front of him, and then Josh Medlin, who's who's um, you know was really our leading receiver last year, and you know he's going to do a lot of great things for us again this year, and you know those are three right there just off the bat that you know are really college prospects, and then uh, you know Devin Mason, who uh, a lot of people just they thought they remember remember his brother. And uh, a lot of times they forget about little brother. I'm gonna tell you what, he's bigger than his, his brother right now, and uh, he's strong as an ox. And you know he's playing defensive end for us right now, and he's actually gotten in and played some tight end. And a lot of people are gonna find out that those Mason boys have some hands too. So it's it's exciting. Well, you, you start the season off with, with Central Cabarrus, and and we'll be with you all the way. So thanks. Thank you, sir. All right, we've made it over to East Rowan High School. We're going to be talking to Danny Meisenheimer. I think he's awake now after his midnight madness. We let him have a day to sleep. And he's going to come out here and tell us what all went on in the darkness of Granite Quarry. And he's going to tell us all about the schedule he had from 12 to 2 when he practiced and then how he kept the kids in from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. So we're going to go find Danny right now and talk a little East Rowan football. All right, we've hooked up with Danny Meisenheimer. Now, Danny, tell everybody why you had Midnight Madness. Well, we had been the whole idea behind Midnight Madness was uh, that practice starts Monday at midnight, and we didn't want to waste any minutes. So uh, we're going to spend every minute we can this year getting better. And uh, that starts at 12.01 Monday morning. <laughs> and how, how many kids did you have out here? We had about 65 kids. Um, we had about 10 that were not here that I knew where they were at. Um, we had probably 100 parents in the stands. That's great. Uh, we had students out here throwing cornhole about 11:45, met to right up to the time we went on the field, yeah. and then we had probably 25, 30 yeah. kids out here watching. So in all, we probably had 130 people out here watching. And uh, how about you? You're your new coach. Uh, how exciting is it for you? It's very exciting. You know, uh, to be back here at uh, alma mater, and um, you know, this is that's all I've known yeah. since growing up. Um, Dad coached at South Rowan when I was real little, but. Uh, you know, when I was growing up, it was East Rowan football, and then obviously playing here. Um, but uh, it's very exciting. The community's excited. Our kids seem to be excited. Um, we, we're looking forward to a good year. And the Salisbury Post is excited. They will be here with you all the way. Thanks, Danny. Thank you. Okay, that's it. We've been to all six Rowan County schools. We've talked to all the coaches. We've taken some film of, of the practices. You know, football season starts August the 17th. The Salisbury Post football edition comes out august the 15th and we'd also like to thank sundrop for sponsoring us again you know they love high school sports and we're glad they're up here with us so go to a football game every friday night and have a good time and support these kids